Greetings. Welcome to this YouTube channel. The following is a video presentation, which, I hope you will enjoy, entitled, Beyond Parallel, where we will be taking a look at, Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. Please be sure to look in the information sidebar, to the right of this video, and click the More Info link, for additional information, as well as, how to download a transcript of this Bible study. Beyond Parable, Introductory Thought And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? Mark 4 verse 13, KJV Note, the King James Version of the Bible is used throughout, unless otherwise stated. What is a parable? A parable is a succinct, fictitious story that illustrates a moral, spiritual, or religious concept which uses, primarily, human character interactions to convey a central message. Parables such as, the prodigal son are central to Jesus' public teaching method. What is the purpose of a parable? Even though this question is answered in the definition, to convey a spiritual or moral reality through the use of a fictitious story, I feel that it is important to emphasize the reason why Jesus used parables in the first place. There are many times in the Bible that Jesus commanded the people to not tell anyone who he was, see Luke 9 verse 21 and Matthew 8. Verse 4 For examples, it has been suggested that the reason for this, was that Jesus came for a purpose and, if he came in his full power and authority, it would interfere with, that purpose. It is sort of like the reverse, of James Bond's modus operandi, for, those of you who are familiar with that character, instead of Jesus walking into the scene and announcing that he was, Bond, James Bond, he came humbly and quietly, bringing the good news and fulfilling his purpose as indicated by Mark 14 verses 48 and 49, which says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Are ye come out, as against a thief, with swords and with staves to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and ye took me not, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Jesus, in his ministry, used parables to humbly reveal things about himself, as well as, the spiritual nature of the world, in a way, that would touch the listeners individually and cause them to reflect on what was said and to make a personal decision as to whether or not they should follow God in full or continue with the way of the world. This can be easily seen in the following verses where Jesus himself explains why he uses parables, and he said unto the disciples, privately, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see, and not perceive, and hearing they may hear, and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. Mark 4 verses 11 and 12. Is it important that we understand parables? I think that it is very important that we not only understand parables, but also have the ability to identify parables themselves. The parables, found in the Bible, function as a direct line of communication from Jesus to the people who were listening. There were no middle men involved to explain what the parables meant, or if what they were hearing were in fact parables. As the Bible indicates in Romans 15 verse 4, which states, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, and in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17, which states, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, 
thoroughly furnished unto all good works, if we can neither understand nor identify the parables found in the Bible, especially the ones authored by Jesus, we cannot have a complete understanding of who Jesus is, or what he is telling us. Jesus is on parable. There is a parable in the Bible that is interpreted, by certain sects of mainline Christianity, to not be a parable at all. It is suggested by the leaders of these sects to interpret the parable as literally as possible, and by doing so, it has colored their understanding of the Bible and has influenced the creation of unbiblical doctrine, similarly to what is described in 2 Peter 3 verse 16, as, Some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. What is the parable? What is the parable? The rich man and Lazarus, Luke 16 verses 19 to 31. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, the rich man also died, and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried, and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us, and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you, cannot, neither can they pass to us, that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would ascend him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. What is said about this parable? When I first heard this text, Luke 16 verses 19 to 31, on a Christian television program, if my memory doesn't fail me I believe it was a sermon by Frederick, K.C. Price described and interpreted as a matter of fact description of the nature of the afterlife, that heaven and hell are separated by a gulf, that you can communicate between heaven and hell that you can watch sinners being tormented day in and day out and, lastly, that Jesus went to this place when he died I couldn't contain myself. I could just not believe what I heard. Why this is a parable? 1. When Jesus spoke to a crowd of people his primary method of teaching a particular concept was through parables. Evidence for this can be found in the following verses. Matthew 13 verse 3, And he spake many things unto them in parables. Verses 34 and 35, All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them. Mark 3 verse 23, And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables. Mark 4 verse 2, And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine. Verse 33 and 34, 
and with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them, and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. Mark 12 verse 1, And he began to speak unto them in parables. Luke 18 verse 1, And he spake a parable unto them to this end. Verse 9, and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous, and despised others. Point 2. Luke 16 verse 19 to 31 follows the pattern of the parables spoken by Jesus throughout the New Testament. The parabolic phrase, a certain X, is akin to saying, once upon a time, and not, a particular literal person as evidenced by the following verses. Matthew 21 verse 28, A certain man had two sons. Verse 33, Here another parable, There was a certain householder. Matthew 22 verse 2, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king. Mark 12 verse 1, A certain man planted a vineyard. Luke 10 verse 30, A certain man went. Luke 12 verse 16, the ground of a certain rich man. Luke 13 verse 6, he spake also this parable, a certain man. Luke 14 verse 16, a certain man made a great supper. Luke 15 verse 11, a certain man had two sons. Luke 16 verse 1, there was a certain rich man, which had a steward. Luke 19 verse 11 and 12, a certain nobleman went into a far country. Point 3. The places in the New Testament where the phrase, a certain man, is used, and it is not a parable, it is noted that they are tangible, they can communicate to people around them, they are not a part of a narrative, and they are observable by the people around them. They are in fact real people, as evidenced by the following verses. Matthew 8 verse 19, And a certain scribe came, and said unto him, Master. Mark 14 verse 51, And there followed him a certain young man, having. Luke 11 verse 27, A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him. Verse 37, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with them, and he went in and sat down to meet. Luke 21 verse 2, And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. John 4 verse 46, And there was a certain nobleman, whose son was sick at Capernaum. John 11 verse 1, Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus, of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. It should be noted that this real Lazarus, of Bethany, should not be confused with the parabolic Lazarus in Luke 16 verses 19 to 31. Point 4. It does not have to be announced prior to speaking that a parable is about to be spoken. The parable of the trees, found in Judges 9 verse 8 to 15 supports this point, Nowhere does it indicate that a parable is about to start or end, but if it is not interpreted as a parable one could come away with the understanding that trees talk. Point 5. The current status of Abraham indicates that Luke 16 verses 19 to 31's mention of him was symbolic. 1. Abraham's death is recorded and confirmed in Genesis 25 verses 8 and 10. Then Abraham gave up the ghost, and died in a good old age. 2. Psalm 6 verse 5 indicates the state of all dead people, for in death there is no remembrance of thee, in the grave who shall give thanks. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5 and 6 cement this idea, found throughout the Bible, for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love, and their hatred, and their envy, is now perished. Also Jesus, in Luke 8 verse 51 to 53 indicates how death is likened unto sleep, 
in that the dead are not aware of anything. See also, John 11 verse 11 to 14, Mark 5 verse 39, Matthew 9 verse 24. It is impossible for Abraham, based on the characteristics of death, that is to say, having neither memory nor awareness, to, as Luke 16 verses 19 to 31 suggests, that he remembers and converse with the certain rich man. 3. Hebrews 11 verses 8 to 10, 13, 39 and 40 outlines how many of the elders of the Old Testament have not received the promise of eternal life nor have they been judged before any other living believer to be in heaven or paradise. Therefore it is impossible for Abraham, let alone Lazarus and the certain rich man to have received judgment. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. These all died in faith, not having received the promise. All these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, that they without us should not be made perfect. Those are the five reasons why that the interpretation of Luke 16 verse 19 to 31 should not and cannot be correctly interpreted as a literal depiction of the afterlife. To summarize, there is a high probability that it was yet another parable from Jesus. The phrase, a certain rich man, does not by itself, mean that a real literal person is being referenced. Parables can be spoken unannounced and most importantly Yahweh is the God of the living and not a God of the dead, that is to say, Abraham is in a state which can be described as similar to sleep and has no memory or awareness of anything including himself.